It's the channel that you choose. We're coming back to YouTube. Make sure you hit the subscribe and turn on the notifications. It's your favorite local special after out of smoke. Support the real again. Get ready to fake the F you to the industry. How do you fight? Back. Simple. Press subscribe. Join the movement over there on Instagram. C E D D Y N A S H. One word. That's where you and I can stay in contact. Plus, I'm going to like your pictures and all that. To the crew, that's the truth. Brr, with the visionaries. So. Lil Durk ain't going to be able to win with this. He's not, right? Some of y'all wanted a hologram from what I'm seeing. Some of y'all didn't want him to do anything. Some of y'all wanted him to perform his verse too and everything like that. Some of y'all really believe that Lil Durk sacrificed King La. I'm going to be perfectly honest with y'all. Lil Durk can't win. He can't. He can't win because we live in a day and age of conspiracy theories. Instead of a day and age that says, if you employ a section of people who are not known for making the best choices, did King Von go to jail? Yes, he did. Do you think that King Von was either a businessman or a street nigga. Just curious. Let's understand this, right? And this this is no shade to anybody for what happened, right? King Vile. Come from the street, say if you got a problem, you got a problem, we're gonna address that problem when I see you, right? Quando Rondo from the streets. You got a problem. You got a problem, we address that problem when we get to that problem, right? Now, if you take people's words for it, right? Quando Rondo say he didn't know it was static with King Von. King Von obviously thought it was static with Quando Rondo. Quando Rondo gets hit by King Von. King Von ultimately is shot. Let me ask y'all just a simple question. If me, if I walked up to a mob boss, right? To a mafia member, to the boss. And I walk up and I slap him. If I get shot, what would y'all say? Okay, let me ask y'all this. Anybody that's from the streets, how many times have you seen fights take a turn for the worse? Meaning first it was boom, boom. All right, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then next thing you know, all you hear is boom, 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 it's a bunch of shooting. So why is this so much different? I'm just curious. Can we all agree that King Von from the streets, Quando Rondo from the streets? And then the people who are acting like, oh, man, well, King Vi should have did this. King Vi should have did that. Yeah, in hindsight, we can say that. That's the problem with a lot of y'all people. Y'all forget that these youngins ain't thinking logical. And let's be honest. When you get a lot of money and you got a lot of people behind you, sometimes you think you're untouchable and that you can do any goddamn thing you want. Lil Dirt can't win. And the reason Lil Dirt can't win is because too many people want to make sure that they have something to say because they haven't figured out about something so simple. You can't please everybody, right? How the saying go? You get 10 people in the room, seven might agree even eight, but there's still going to be three or two that disagree, no matter how much you believe you may be in the right. You can tell somebody something as simple as, bro, gravity is real. You want to know how I know gravity is real? You might have people that, if I show that to a hundred people right now, I'll say, does this mean that gravity is real? A hundred people are not going to agree on that. Leduc can't win because even logic won't be logical for the illogical. And that's the problem. Do y'all want me to reveal 
certain things about certain rappers and everything like that who may have or who may have not hit me up, I keep telling you I'm not doing that because one of the things y'all got to understand is some of these cats, some, not all, some of these cats, they either reach out for reasons that stem from, I'm trying to say it the right way, from some fake promo, for some fake static, trying to spill dirt on somebody's name, trying to big themselves up. There are rappers who literally have hit me up and said, yes, I knocked this nigga out. I've done this to these people and shit like that. And you know what I do? I hit delete. And you want to know why I hit delete? Because honestly, you're not proving nothing to nobody by saying shit like that. When I get around people and they start telling me, <clears throat> when they start telling me certain things that they've done, like other security guards and shit like that, I keep telling the same story over and over and over and over and over and over and over again. They talk about the violence that they've done with their hands. I talk about the violence I stopped with using my words. If you don't know the story, I'll make it real quick. There were four dudes that came out of this club that act like they had problems with me. Now, these dudes were not big dudes at all. They probably age, I mean age, height range from five foot six to five foot eight. And they over here pissed off and everything. And I'm getting pissed off too. And I'm looking at all of them. It's words being said back and forth and everything like that. And in my mind, I'm going full equalizer. Like, all right, the first dude, if I hit him, I know I'm knocking him out. Then what I know is somebody else is coming, so I know I can get this left real quick and back him off. And I'm probably not going to knock him out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this nigga. I'm knocking this nigga out. Throw this left. Back him up off me. and grab somebody. And I'm smacking him into the wall. And while I'm getting swung on and everything like that, I'm fairly certain this nigga head is going to hurt. So he going to be taking some of the goddamn force of this ass whooping. And when they sitting up here jumping me and everything like that, while I got this dude, they going to be hitting the hell out of him and they going to be out of energy. And that's when I'm going to get up in that nice little two-on-one. I will always take my chances. That was in my mindset. But then I said, hold on. Let me try it this way. And what I end up doing is I say this. This is how you motherfuckers going to treat me after all the shit I let y'all get away with? They drop their heads, they turn, and they walk off. Because I was in the right. The reason they was pissed off was because I stopped them because they was in the wrong. And they felt that I should have let it happen. Mm -mm. Lil Dirk can't win. Because y'all don't want him to win. Some of y'all, not all of y'all. Now expect me to keep it real because you know that I will. I do this daily, baby. Check out the notifications, please, at the bell. I'll catch y'all in the next one.